Hey everybody, this is Unravel, where knowledge is power. Ever wondered what stops you from purchasing your dream house? Yes, it's the skyrocketing prices of property all over the world which are jaw-dropping. Buying a house has never been easy, but the rising costs have made it more and more difficult now. Let's dig deep and find out the real reasons behind this inflation in the cost of housing. The statistics provide a clear view of the inflation in the property market. Let's take the example of England where the prices escalated by 4,255% between 1971 and 2011. Unbelievable, isn't it? In 1950, a person with an average stream of income could easily afford to buy a three-bedroomed house that cost around £1,050. The total cost was just around 2.5 times the average wage of £400 with a mortgage around the annual salary doubled. But now the situation has drastically changed. Get ready to spend approximately £1 million if you want to buy the same house today. This cost goes up to 40 times the average person's salary per annum. Isn't it mind-boggling? Now the question arises, why have houses become so expensive? Is it the cost of the material or the value of the land that is causing this phenomenal increase in prices? The truth is that the material used in building houses has a nominal impact on the price rise. The cost of the land on which these houses reside determines their true value. Let's investigate and understand the primary reasons behind the increase in the cost of land. This situation is connected directly to the demand and supply mechanism. With the increase in population and the popularity of the concept of the nuclear family system, the demand for independent housing has increased tremendously. The number of family members living under a roof has continuously decreased over the past many years. As a result, the demand for a separate living space has risen. Let's take the example of the UK where the population increases by between 300 and 400,000 people a year. Now with the increase in demand, there is a need for 240,000 houses each year. This crisis can be witnessed in many countries across the globe. In France, 300 to 500,000 homes are constructed each year to keep up with the pace of increasing demand. This shortfall might aggravate in the future, specifically in majorly populated cities. London might be an example of this future housing shortfall, where in 2031, the shortfall is predicted to rise to 700,000 homes. Moreover, we need to keep in consideration that building new accommodations has a big impact on the environment. The construction and renovation of buildings use precious natural resources. These environmental concerns can also lead to protests in the neighborhood. Now, this gap in the demand and supply is causing a spike in the prices of houses. Governments have introduced some schemes to make it easier for people to own their own house. Federal Home Loan Banks and the Community Reinvestment Act in the US are two of such initiatives. In France, interest-free loans and help to buy in the UK are schemes of similar nature. But the truth is that access to these schemes is not the solution to the real problem. It's just a way to divert the current storm towards a long-term crisis. The rich investors who own the majority of the land keep getting richer while the average population of buyers is getting buried into the mountains of debt. The deficit is not filled by new houses, rather the majority is competing for the same number of houses. This leads to more competition and more inflation. We need to ask ourselves, what is the true solution to this problem? The simple one-line answer is to work on increasing the supply. That means to build more houses. We need to stop thinking that creating credit for house purchases does anything. It just stokes house inflation. 
Organizations need to play an active part by profiting marginally from larger volumes of construction rather than aiming at earning huge margins from inflated house prices. And most importantly, we should build so beautifully that no one minds the disruption of natural land to create housing, neither the environmentalists nor the neighborhood. In short, create a sustainable housing environment. Sustainable homes are tuned into their natural surroundings, incorporating eco-friendly materials and building processes. Not only are they aesthetically beautiful, but they also offer far-reaching social, economic and environmental advantages. Sustainable homes are energy and water efficient, reduce environmental footprint, have low operating costs and create a healthier and happier living. All of these things put together can create affordable, sustainable housing and help us grow together as a society.